Tell me what you're looking for and I'll find it for you. I'm looking for a new girlfriend. <laughs> Wait, who's eating who? Humans are eating cockroaches and worms, and it's a contest. <laughs> this is my chance to sing because we're in the bathroom. Listen to this. And go! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome back to today's vlog. So here's what's going on. We are... She wants to be in a box. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, so cute. So cute. That's her home now. We can't ever use this box now. I wasn't gonna tell you this because I want to stress you out. This is the last box? We're kind of out of box. <laughs> We're gonna be going out for the last time in LA as residents of LA. So we're shipping the car. We're gonna be carless in LA, which you would think it's walkable if you've never been here, but it's like the opposite of walkable. It's horrendous. Okay, but first, I do need to get some packing done. Otherwise, my mom's gonna be like, you guys went to Century City without even packing anything first? So that's what we're gonna do. Speaking, speaking of needing to distress, because you're thinking to yourself right now as you're watching this, Stephanie, I can feel the tension through the screen. Take a couple weeks off. You look, you look tense. You look like you're bottling up all this energy. And I'm here to tell you, that's not true. I'm here to tell you that I do a lot to unwind. I am very, very into taking care of myself in the sense of if I've got pent up energy, if I've got something and I need to release, I do it. You don't have to worry about me. If you guys don't know, I've been obsessed with Lilo's toys because, I mean, there's something about their toys. They just hit different. I have used a lot of toys in my lifetime. Maybe not my lifetime, since I was like 18, okay? I've been using a lot of toys, and none, I mean, none of them compare to Lilo toys. This is a sex toy, by the way. <laughs> You're like, well, that looks fun. <laughs> it is, okay? I've had some toys before where you turn it on and it's only got two vibration settings and you're either being jackhammered and your whole body feels like it's undergoing the big one in California or you don't feel it at all and you're like, what is going on? Maybe orgasms aren't meant for me. There's so much rhetoric online that orgasms are just so hard to come by for women, which may be true sometimes, but did you know, sometimes it's just about finding what works for you. This is their Eno Wave 2, which I'm obsessed with. So look at this design, it's amazing. It's got 12 different vibration settings. So you're gonna find the right vibration for you. You're gonna, you know, beat of your own drum. What's that saying? You're gonna get it with this one. The coolest thing is it's got like a finger-like motion for your G-spot. This is a triple action massager. Gone are the one actions or the two actions. If it's not three, I don't want it. I'm always paranoid about like what's going on with my body, what I'm putting up my body. And this is a body safe, premium, buttery soft silicone that's super easy to clean, super easy to use, and it's fully waterproof. You see that tub? Action goes down in that tub which is me. Side note, it's also not that loud, so if you guys live with roommates or maybe you still live at home, trust me, it's very discreet. And you don't have to worry about like, wow, does it sound like I'm doing some construction work in this room because that would be suspicious. And it lasts for hours. Even if you guys are by yourself or you're with a partner, this is always a fun addition to have and sometimes, it's just a stress reliever, okay? It also comes with a 10 year guarantee and a one year warranty. You guys know that I love Lilo, so make sure to check out the link in the description and check out my favorites from Lilo because also look at this color. I think it's called California Sky. So thank you Lilo for sponsoring today's video and let's, let's get into the packing. Here's how I think that I'm gonna do it. I saved a bunch of clothes, like regular t-shirts. I didn't pack them, even though I did try to pack most of my closet because I thought this would be like great packing material. Like instead of using bubble wrap, I could just use clothes. I saved a bunch of clothes for my plates too. Now here's, I realized the problem with that. I don't know which clothes that I really saved, so I'm gonna have to open up every single box just to get my closet back, so there, that, there's that, okay? I've got my clothes, I've got more supplies that we need to pack. The only way to make this satisfying, I feel, is if I give you guys a before and after. So this is my makeup side on the left side. This is an empty box. Why do I have an empty box? I've got hair clips in here. I've got brow gel tints. I am somehow, thankfully, on ColourPop's uh, PR list and I have never had to buy makeup sets. <laughs> so we have all of this that needs to be packed. This middle section, you know, I can't even tell you. I've got like my face massagers and stuff. Just, it's a mess, okay? And then on this side, I have skincare. 
So we're gonna pack these. I'm gonna, and then on top I have my everyday makeup that I've been using this past month. And then all my brushes and also uh, bras somehow and headbands and pepper spray. Cause you never know. Like what if I'm doing my makeup, someone tries to break in, I'm ready to go. Is there pepper in there? <laughs> and then I have more products here that are still in boxes. This is not me hoarding. I actually bought these in advance because I knew that I was moving and the last thing that I want to do when I get to the new place during all of the construction and all of that is to be like, oh my God, I just ran out of this. What do I do? And freak out. So I got those in advance, okay? I'm not a crazy person, or at least not yet. So then we've got my box on the side. I'm gonna layer it with clothes. I'm gonna put in just like Maybe two, just so the bottom isn't like cardboardy. Now we're gonna do the makeup first because I think skincare is sensitive. I wanna put the skincare on top. I have kept all of these in its uh, containers because one of my nieces, my cousin's daughters, they're like hitting the age where they wanna experiment with makeup. They're like seven, okay? So they wanna go to like Claire's or whatever you call it, buy that nasty makeup that probably has a bunch of chemicals in it. So I'm saving up my cute little color pops for them. Look at this one, this one. It's Hello Kitty. They're gonna love it. Like, look at this one. Lizzie McGuire. I mean, look at these little lip gels. They're gonna love me. I'm the best aunt ever. They're never gonna meet anyone just like me. I'm kidding. They actually hate me because I haven't been around enough, so they have no idea that I'm even related to them. Look at this one. This is Animal Crossing. You guys know I love Animal Crossing, but I mean, I still got the plastic on there. I'm gonna give it to my niece. I'm gonna buy her love. Why don't you save it for Sophia, too? Save it? <laughs> Make them <laughs> oh. So I can't. Why, why does makeup expire? It's not food. Because because you're putting it on your face. You're asking all the wrong questions. Ask me a question I do know the answer to. What do you want me to ask? Ask me the strangest way to die. What's the strangest okay, way? Okay, so I was working on a case and I came across this list of strange ways to die. And they're really bizarre. It's not even like the worst ways to die, it's just unusual ways to die. And I'm gonna tell you about a Florida story. It's, it's, I thought you were packing, eh? I thought you were talking about makeup. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, I'm a makeup girl for today's video. So I've got these. I'm gonna pack these. These are for me. Somehow I need to differentiate what's for me, what's for my nieces. Let me tell you a Florida story because maybe that'll calm me down. Death calms people down because it makes you realize, hey, you're not gonna die. It's all gonna be okay, right? Right. So I'm gonna put a bunch of makeup palettes together, wrap it, then throw it in. That's the game plan. What do you think is the weirdest way to die? Like, what's one way that you would be somewhat embarrassed? Bungee jumping. Oh, I told him this one. So this happened in Colombia. I don't know if when this happened, I don't know if it's like 100% true. I just saw it on TikTok. I did not double check this source. I did not, you know, triple check this fact. Google it if you're not intrigued, right? But apparently a couple was bungee jumping in Colombia. The bungee jumping is when you're attached to like a, a very springy rope and you jump off. Very different from skydiving. So the couple, they're all harnessed up, but only the guy was attached to the rope. The girl had not been attached yet. She just had her harnesses on, right? But how would she know? She's not the employee. So then the employee looks over at the couple and gives like the go ahead, the signal to jump. And he was doing that for the man who was attached. The woman was not attached and she jumps and fell to her death because she was not attached to anything. This is crazy. I mean, is that not insane? But is that also not so heartbreaking? Because like, how do you mourn the loss of something like that? <laughs> it's just so sudden and unexpected. I feel like there's a lot of these videos on TikTok. Yeah. But you never know what happened after. It's almost like, what? Is that real? Yeah. So this is just three all pellets. Of that? that seems not efficient. Not efficient at all. Okay, you're right. <laughs> this is gonna take two years at this point. Why can't you just yeah. dump everything in the box? Because everything breaks. I don't have anything to give my nieces. They don't love me back. I don't get to win their love. Do you know what it means to be the least liked aunt of the family? I mean, it's like social outcast. I'd honestly rather be bullied by high schoolers again than be bullied by little toddlers because they're evil. They're ruthless. This happened in Florida. Now, Florida stories are always crazy, but this one's even wilder. I just don't understand. I mean, I was looking at unusual deaths and this came up and I was like, there's 
absolutely no way. So once upon a time in 2012, there was this reptile store. Yeah, they sell reptiles. And so when they sell reptiles, they have a lot of cockroaches in the store because they feed cockroaches and worms to these reptiles. So they're thinking, well, let's just hold a contest. This is gonna be the best contest ever. It's gonna bring us publicity to the store. We're gonna have a cockroach and worm eating contest. And the grand prize, the winner, gets a python. Wait, who's eating who? Humans are eating cockroaches and worms, and it's a contest to bring publicity to the reptile store. I told you it only happens in Florida, okay? And the winner gets a python, which is a snake. You couldn't even pay me, let alone make me eat something to be near a python for two seconds. But a lot of people showed up for this contest, including a man by the name of Eddie. Now, Eddie, he was known as just like this really sweet person. He actually entered the contest because his friend had been wanting a python for so long. And he was like, you know what, best friend? I'm gonna win this contest and I'm gonna give you the python. So then it happens. It's like midnight madness. That's what they called the event. They start eating buckets of worms. I'm talking, I think they ate like 300 grams of worms. And then they ate 35 super long, like a foot long worms. Foot long worms? Okay, like something like that. Okay? Think, what is this? There are foot long worms, by the way. Like they're eating it like pasta? And they're called super worms. They were eating super worms, okay? <laughs> they were eating a bunch of super worms, and then Eddie also went on to consume a whole bucket of cockroaches. Right after the contest, I don't know if he won. Right after the contest, he runs out of the reptile store and he starts throwing up in front of the store. So they're like, okay, well, what's going on? I mean, I get it, it's nasty. You and I would throw up if I ate one cockroach, right? So they think it's not a big deal. But then he starts hyperventilating. So they call the ambulance, they take him to the hospital, and he ends up dying of asphyxiation. So at first, the news broke in Florida. Florida man dies while eating cockroaches. You can't even make this shit up. So everyone online is like, well, there must have been something. Like a disease in the cockroach. Maybe the cockroach has some germs on it. Maybe there's some sort of disease that the cockroach was carrying. Experts weighed in on this, and they said, no, no, no. Cockroaches don't transmit disease. Disease. They can have disease in their body and they'll poop it out and now the poop is diseased But cockroaches themselves don't really have like diseases if you like touch one or it touches you Turns out he had choked on the cockroaches because they were alive when he was eating them yeah. And he I mean it's like a speed contest so some of them he were just swallowing them whole So they're climbing back out? Yeah ah. he, like, he had to cover his mouth to be able to like ingest It's time to stop <sighs> This is smarter, I'm keeping everything in the containers and just wrapping it in shirts. I don't know what that's gonna do, but we're gonna do it. So I'm realizing some of this stuff, I don't really wanna send it on that big moving truck because it's just gonna be in the hot sun going from the west coast to the east coast for, geez Louise, I don't even know, maybe like a week or two. So these products, I don't want them in the heat. I think I'm just gonna try to bag them up and bring them on my checked in suitcase on the airplane, not the carry on, cause it's too much liquid. I don't even know what I'm doing, honestly. Mango, do you you know what I'm doing? Mingo has no idea. She just wants another box to get into. She said, I'll even take this bag. Put me in this bag. I'm trying to close this drawer and I'm looking and I'm like, why is it not closing? Because I have a bajillion things back there. Honey, I might need you for this. I might need your long arms or your long dick. What? Look in there. Look into the soles of my makeup vanity. Oh my god, what is, oh my god. Ew, oh my god, oh my god. What do you mean ew? What is this? What is what? Ew! Let me show you the box. We have filled it pretty much to the brim. If there's extra space, I'm just gonna throw some shirts in there to like cushion it. Look at this, completely empty. This was filled with hair. Am I embarrassed? Absolutely. This one, I've got my hairbrush. I made him completely empty all the hairs because I was embarrassed to show you guys. He said it looked like a crocheted shirt, but with hair. And then we have my middle drawer, which is empty. Look at this, just my blow dryer. I kind of dropped the ball Whoa, on this one. you forgot okay. about that? I didn't forget, these are things I have to bring. And a lot of these are empty. I'm like looking for a way to recycle some of these really pretty ones. I'm thinking of like a DIY, cause these, look at these, they got a spoon. And like, you gotta stop being a hoarder. And then I have what's on top here. So this is things that I'm gonna either be bringing. These are my contacts. We've got a bunch of hair stuff, my makeup brushes, and my makeup that I use in there. And we're done. So we're going out for the last time in LA and she packed all my shoes. So I'm gonna be running around in these blue runners and look like look, look like a loser. You do look like a loser. Why you do that to me? So we have been filming.
building the garage like you guys know so the garage we can't park the car inside anymore so I'm like okay we'll check the app that's like the cool thing about this car you have like an app he checks the app guess how many degrees it was in this car it was 145 degrees so we let the AC run for like the past 20 30 minutes and it's like lukewarm in here let's go to Century City it's been a while 110 degrees Holy cow. So long since I went out that I forgot my phone at home. I forgot my phone. I brought my mask, freaking hanging here, but I forgot my phone. And that's just what life is now, so. Okay, so this guy is asking me why I was at Century City every day of my freaking life for like the past, when did it start? Maybe like three years ago? What were you doing? And I was there day? like every day for like a year straight, for like a solid year. Okay, let me explain. I used to work there. I used to work there before the big remodel, okay? If you lived in LA, you would know that there was this massive remodel and it did not look like what it looks like now, okay? It looked like a really shitty mall on the inside. So once the remodel happened, I thought it was so pretty and then I kept going and it was just like you're in this different world. But what were you doing there every day? Because I had a gym membership there. Oh yeah, yeah So I'd yeah. work out, I would eat, I would find mukbang food, I would browse around the stores. I mean, I was living a housewife life. Yeah, was what, just, a, what kind of life is it now? Now, like now. A hermit life. Yeah, now I'm a hermit. Now I just stay home. Uh, I've been traumatized. Yeah, 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 I feel like everyone's been traumatized after what happened the past year. So, we're going back. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I don't know what's going on, but I feel like that family that goes to Disneyland like once in their lifetime and they just, like they never leave the house. They just go to Disneyland once and everything that can go wrong goes wrong at that it's one day. It's a little day. dramatic, no? It's a little bit. It's a little, a little dramatic. dramatic. Yeah, yeah a it's a little bit. dramatic. But we both have the feeling of explosive diarrhea. <laughs> like the minute that we parked, we're like, hey, how are you doing? He's like, I'm gonna be real with you. I might have to diarrhea when I get it. <laughs> but at the same time, I might have to diarrhea too. On top of that, I forgot my phone. So here's the plan, okay? Uh -huh. You keep your eyes on me. I keep my eyes on you. If we get lost, we meet here in this car. You give me the car keys. We meet here. Give me the card. <laughs> because you have a phone. You can call 911. I can't. I'm right for the picking. We're kind of debating if we want to go in or not. <laughs> like, I got here and I'm like, you know what? I don't even know why I'm here. <laughs> like, what am I here for? He's even looking up a directory of all the stores. He's like, uh, do you want to go to Aritzia? I'm like, I don't really want to go to Aritzia. Do you want to go to Aritzia? He's like, there is, uh, oh, Herman Miller. They sell office chairs. You want to go there? They have a lot of pockets, though. And this guy's looking at a backpack of all things. Where are you going to wear this? Airport. Airport, okay. <laughs> you look like you're going... Yeah, you look like you're going to the airport. I was going to say you look like you're going camping, but you don't look that cool. You look like you're going to the airport. I have a mission. I said, babe, I think these will look so good on you. You're going to look, you're going to look dashing, spectacular, fantastic. And he said, well, I only wear black, so mission has failed. I said, what about these? He said, no, I only wear black. <laughs> look at how cute this is. If you guys are in LA, Century City is so cute. Look at that. Like, I Stephanie's at Italy and she says she's going to find some snacks. To bring back as souvenirs. <laughs> Souvenir from Listen, Los Angeles, I've never Italy. Been to Italy, so this is as close as we get. Huh. It looks like a can. It looks like a can. I might need that. And this was the gym that I used to go to. Um, am I dying? I feel like I'm dying or something. I feel like this is my goodbye to everybody. What the heck is going on? Do you do this? If I ever see like these um initial ones that have little sayings on them, even though I don't like it or even though I'm not gonna buy it, I have to look for S. This says be the reason that someone smiles. Well that's really cheesy, I like it. <laughs> I have looked at every single part of this store, uh, every no item. No I think I work here. No Tell me what you're looking for and I'll find it for you. I'm looking for a new girlfriend. <laughs> I'll kill you. 
I'm so excited that I won. So there's two restaurants that we really like here. We like Mesa Dongpo and oh, Din Tai Fung. But it's our last time eating Din Tai Fung. So I got a lot of stuff. It's ready to pick up. He looks upset. He looks like he wanted Mao Zedong Po. Wait, Mejo Dong Po. I always say Mao Zedong. This is my last time here as a resident. Okay, I, I know I'm gonna say it's my last time here and then I'm gonna end up visiting and everyone's gonna be like, damn. She said that I throw her ball directly into a box. Absolutely. Is this what you're looking for? Is this what you're looking for? Don't ask me why these two chairs are facing each other. Because of this. Transition. Um, uh, sir? <laughs> sir, where here? are you going? <laughs> where are you trying to go? Oh my god, he really wants to get into oh, it. Oh man. What in the world? You don't even like car drives, they give you so much anxiety, dude. The minute that you get in this car and we start driving, you're gonna be shaking. I'm looking for my tripod. So I'm in here. Do you guys remember when I used to nap in here? When we didn't have a charger at home, so I would go to the charging station and I would put a mattress in here. I literally put a mattress in here so that I could sleep while the car was charging. Wait, I'm looking for my tripod. Why am I in the back laying down telling you guys a story? <laughs> so here's what's going on, okay? There has been one Olympics, the ping pong Olympics, that my mom has been following up with, right? Because my mom used to be a national ping pong player for the South Korean team also if this camera is shaky I lost my camera tripod I might have to order another one so so here's what's going on there has been one ping pong Olympics is the first time that this that. is in the Olympics I'm gonna lay it down for you because my mom has taught me all of this if you guys are interested in ping pong there's the women's singles the men's singles <laughs> there's the women's singles <laughs> there's the men's singles. and then there's tiger single <laughs> single-handedly ruining my video, sir. Let's talk about the Olympics. First of all, my fiance and I stayed up till like three in the morning last night watching clips of Chinese divers. I don't know what it is about that 15-year-old girl and that 17-year-old girl. The way that they dive, they won gold. The way that they splash into the water, I make more splash stepping into my shower. How do human bodies work like that? And then I started crying because they had a pasu on them. Do you guys know what pus is? It's like what athletes wear, like the the muscle lake patches. And I was like, oh my god, they're in pain from that. They had so many too. They had so many. Yeah. Like, they, why did they have the most patch out of any athlete? They just had so many patches. It was so sad. And then I got so sad I started crying. And then I had to Google happy videos of giraffes. Anyways, we're talking about ping pong. So if you guys don't know, subtle flex. My mom was a national champion for South champion? Korea. Was she champion? Okay, she was a national contestant. See, it changes See, every the year. Story just See, it changes every year. Okay, crazy. I'm pretty sure she went to nationals and had some sort of title. Uh, why did you ask her? She's ready. Um, uh, Your mom's like, um, I played in my college <laughs> team. <laughs> my mom said, I played recreationally. <laughs> it was a neighborhood ping pong team. National player, yes. She said one time. National? She said one time. Really? See, I told Team you. South Korea? I told you. What? It's not globally, but I told you. Whoa. She's good. Okay, so we're talking about the ping pong Olympics. So my fiance was telling me this, and I was like, I don't think so. But apparently, if you hit the ball back to the opponent and it like it hits the edge of the ping pong table, you still get a point uh -huh. because they didn't hit it back, uh -huh. but you apologize. Apologize for taking a point, right? Yeah, just like you lift your hand and you're like, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry, but you're a loser. <laughs> also, uh, if you guys think ping pong is boring, go Google videos of actual ping pong players because it's one of the most entertaining sports ever. Yeah. You know how the ping pong table is like this big? Sometimes the players are here. Yeah. Sometimes the player will run to the opponent's side and hit the ball back. Yeah. And then they'll run back, and yeah. I'm like, sometimes they switch sides. Yeah. <laughs> it makes no sense. <laughs> 
there's been one match for the Olympic ping pongs. Maybe more when you guys see this, but at this point there's been like one match. I tell my mom, oh my God, did you see the results? South Korea didn't even place the first three spots. Okay, I believe uh, Japan won gold, China won um, s silver, I think? I don't know, okay? But I know that Japan won gold, right? And I know that China won silver. And then, here's a crazy thing, okay? I tell my mom, go watch it if you haven't watched it and let me know, like, should I watch it? So she goes into her room, she watches it, she comes back out and she's like, no, China won. I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, I don't know where you read this from, but I think China won. So I'm Googling it. No, sure enough, Japan had won. Turns out she was watching a different year. Bruh. Yeah. And I was like, mother, <laughs> mom. <laughs> but uh, Japan won. I heard this is the first time China didn't win gold for years. She shook. I'm shooketh. Everybody shooketh. But all I know is, I think, I think I have it in my blood. What do you have in your the blood? The ping pong. <laughs> we were talking about it last night. We were laying in bed. He was like, you know what? You're pretty good at ping pong. I was like, yeah, I think so. While we were watching clips of ping pong. Stephanie kicks <laughs> my ass. Kicks <laughs> Dan Dan's ass. Yeah, you kick our ass. I do. For no reason. I'm really good. You know what else I'm really good at? This is my one flex and I haven't been able to show it off in years. Do you know what I'm surprisingly really good at? Bowling. <laughs> no, you're not. Dude. Yes, I am. You're average. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments and make sure whether you guys are waiting for that bright time in the bath, whether you guys are waiting for that release, maybe you're trying to have a nice night. Check out Lilo. I'm going to link it in the description and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Uh